While designing coolant channels within an injection molded parts tooling, an analyst may be interested in identifying how to efficiently move coolant not only through the tool, but also through the hoses carrying the coolant from the pump. Beginning with Autodesk Moldflow Insights 2019 release, a coolant flow analysis can be used to simulate this quickly so the tool and machine's cooling setups can be optimized. After a tool is built and it's first installed in a press, valuable press time can be wasted while setting up coolant hoses. Further, the effects of splitting coolant flow from the pump's main hose is unknown until you start molding and see the effects of the coolant not extracting heat as efficiently as predicted. Autodesk Moldflow Insights coolant flow analysis can aid during the design of channels to minimize this costly troubleshooting time. Within Moldflow, the analyst can either import CAD or curve representations of coolant hoses and channels, or model them within the user interface. If importing via 3D CAD representations, they would just need converted to curves using the centerline extraction tool and then meshed to beam elements. Here, we've got curves representing the hoses and have already meshed the pump and channels within the mold. We've also specified this study with the coolant flow molding sequence. The correct properties of each of the study components can also be assigned, such as channels, hoses, mold, and pump. When simulating complex hose and channel setups, identifying what a hose is connecting may become difficult, so using descriptive property names can be helpful. Once correct properties and dimensions are assigned, we'll move to the process settings. Notice the options within the process settings dialog provide the analyst with control how mold flow solvers calculate the minor loss from hoses to channel. The method for calculating the coolant friction can also be specified. By default, it is set to the Swami Jane method, but alternative methods are also included and can be reviewed via the help documentation. Next, there is an option for the coolant temperatures to be calculated. Lastly, there is an option to consider the gravitational effects towards coolant flow, as this may affect flow rates. Launching an analysis to either the cloud, a server, or locally will quickly provide results like coolant flow pressure, Reynolds number, minor loss coefficient, and coolant friction factor to aid the analyst in identifying if that's an acceptable layout for hoses and channels. If unacceptable results are identified, the analyst can return to their CAD program or redesign within the Fusion 360 application if on subscription, and then quickly run through another coolant flow analysis. Autodesk Moldflow Insights coolant flow analysis helps analysts save design and troubleshooting time to design optimal coolant layouts within plastic molding processes.